you know, it's almost midnight here. In fact, it's midnight now. And as I was about to log out of my website, I noticed that I have an update. And when I clicked on it, I realized that this was a Divi update. So I was just, you know, praying that I hope this is Flexbox. So I went on the YouTube and I realized that um, Nick had just posted a video about Flexbox. So I want to do a quick look and see how this Flexbox is going to work. I haven't tried it out. As you can see, I'm literally just updating Divi 5 right now to the latest update. All right, so let's dive in and see how easy this Flexbox is to use. So this is the first look into Flexbox for Divi 5. So let's head over here and create a brand new page. So let's just call this page Flex. How about that? Right, so we're gonna say use Divi Builder. Now, the skills I'm gonna use here are skills that I've learned elsewhere. I mean, I've been uh, playing around with uh, Elementor, as you know, and I've been using their Flexbox a lot. All right, anyway, so add a row, so that hasn't changed. Oh, so what I can see has changed here is we have equal columns. Right, so it looks like the layout of the rows has changed. So let's go into equal columns here and see what happens. So I'm gonna add two modules, okay, two text modules. And let's see if I can set them side by side. Okay, so these are my two modules. So how does this Flexbox work? So I've got my row selected here. Now I don't see any of the settings here. Oh, there we go. So it is right here. So now, okay, I can't use any of this. Okay, so I can't use any of this. So it looks like this has to go into this column right here. So let's go ahead and select that. And then let's go to our layout. So this time it should work. And sure enough, right now it's set to column. So I can do that. And yes, it's working. Isn't that cool? All right, so now I have it in rows. So let's say in the tablet view, I want them as columns. I can just go to my direction here and boom, okay? And my mobile is like that. So, so far so good. This is what it looks like. And then that's what it looks like on tablet. And that's what it looks like on mobile. All right, so that's the first test. It passed the first test, okay, great. Right, let's get rid of this. Let's do another layout. So this time I am going to add two columns like that. So we're going to add text. So what we're going to do just to make things a bit exciting is we are going to add a bit of a design here. So let's go in and add a padding. Now for this, I'm using side crafter, by the way, uh, the Divi 5 framework. So I'm going to go padding medium. And then I'm going to add my BG background, which is gray. Let's use gray 100. So this way I can really see what is happening. In fact, you know what? For the sake of this, let's make it gray 200. Okay. We're going to duplicate this here. Okay. So for this bottom one here, let's set it to gray 300. So I'm going to come over here. And now it'll make sense in a moment why. I am doing this, okay? So let's make it gray 400 so we can see the difference. All right, so now that we have that, um, over here, we're gonna do the same. Let's just duplicate this, drop it in here. <laughs> now already, I have a different layout here and the layout can be very, very exciting. Now check this out. Hopefully this is gonna work. We want these two now to go, in fact, you know what, let's add something else in here as well. Let's add another text module. And this time, we're going to make this a primary color. Or oh, in fact, let's make it you no know, different. Let's just go in and let's go padding large. And then we're going to go Mm, BG accent. Let's go with accent 400. Okay. Right. So we have two columns. Okay. Just remember that. So we have two columns here. 
So what we can do is we can go into the first one, which is this one right here, and let's make it go side by side. Okay, so we're gonna go in and let's choose design layout. All right, so what we can do now is we can go that way. Look at that. <laughs> Isn't that cool? So already I have a different layout and I'm and I'm glad I've added those background colors because now you can see what these colors look like. So if we go here, you're going to see everything's going to be so squashed. So this is where now we can change things around. We can say, okay, you know what? This column right here, which is going that direction, we want it now to uh, go this way. Okay, so I've changed them. I can actually change my uh, my rows here, row reverse. So now we have that layout, which is brilliant. But you know what? I'm gonna keep things very simple here. Let's keep it like that. Now let's head over back because what I wanna do now, and I wanna see if this works, I wanna add two more elements inside here and make them go side by side. So we're gonna go in, we're gonna add a row, and this time it's gonna be Let's go two rows, okay? And in those two rows, ah, uh, you see what happens? I don't think this works. I don't think this works because now it's added another row on the side, whereas I wanted it over here, you see? So that's not working because I needed a row under this actual item so I can add two things inside here, but that's not working, that's strange. Okay, but anyway, I get the hang of it. Maybe I need to play around with this more so I can see um, how this actually works. Okay, so what else can be very exciting here? Let's see. So I can see we have all these columns here. Multi-grid, multi-row grids, equal row columns. Does this mean that these are... Are these grids, like grid grid? That's that's gonna be interesting. Let's see. Oh no. These are just rows, I think, set up this way. Yeah, yeah, look at that. So these are all just, you know, columns set that way. But we can go in and add whatever we want here. I thought that was a CSS grid. That's why, that is why I sort of panicked. I was like, huh, CSS grid, really? Okay, so, right, so we can just pretty much go in and add, you know, what we want here. So we can add a blurb like that. Okay, so that's about it, really. But um, I'm really disappointed because I really wanted to add two items in here. Why can't I do that? Okay, let's try a group. Okay. So if we add two items in here, let's see if CSS applies in a group, okay? So we're gonna add a text module here. In fact, why don't we add two icons? That way, it's something very small that we can add side by side. So, okay, let's choose an icon which is easy, which is that one. Let's go and add the size. So we're gonna go three rem. In fact, let's make it fall. All right, so let's duplicate this. Okay, so now we have these two. I'm gonna go in the group now, and let's see if we can use our Flexbox. I will be really amazed if I can do this here. Layout. Wow, okay. Can you see that we have this as a column? I can do that. <laughs> wow. So I can use Flexbox in groups. That is fantastic. Right, so now let's see if we can center this. No, that's not the one. Oh yeah, it is. Why can't I center this? Right, this needs to center right here. And it's this that's supposed to be used. And I don't know why that hasn't worked. That's strange. Notice something as well. We have a block. Ah, that's new. 
So we can we can use blocks in designing our elements. That is very interesting. Anyway, so we got this side by side, but the question now is why is it like that? That's strange. Anyway, let's try one more thing because I'm getting sleepy now. Okay, so let's add that. Okay, and then we're going to say text. So in here, let's add another row, single column, and in there, we are going to add an icon, just like what we did before. Let's just choose a random one. Let's go with that. And then we're going to change the size to 4M. Okay, we're going to duplicate this. And then we're going to change this one into... Okay, this icon. Okay, so now if I go into my row settings, right, we should be able to go into this column now, go into design, layout, and we can choose row. Okay, that's fantastic. So what I need to do next now is to, you see, this is not working. I need to add space between. Why is space between not working? Is it because my gutter width? Let's check. Ah, the gutter width has gone. Did you notice that? We used to have gutter width. Gutter width is gone. Okay. So, what's happening? Can I add CSS to the single item? Yeah, you see, I think we have a problem here. I think we have a problem because from my understanding, we need to be able to go into an item here and align it on its own using CSS. And it looks like I can't do that. Okay. Maybe we just need to use that alignment. Is that the case? I don't know. But anyway, We don't have. Okay, maybe the horizontal gap. Let's set this to two. What happens? Okay, let's go two RAM. How come nothing is changing? Okay, align items. Okay, these are stretched and. Okay, this is hmm, quite interesting. So we don't have gap anymore. Yep, it's gone. Oh, that's the gap here. Do you see that? That's the gap right there. And then vertical gap, let's say, Okay, it hasn't shown. All right, so. Okay, this is aligned to the top. That's a, that is aligned center. Okay, so let's, let's add something in here. Let's add some text. So you can see what is happening here. I'm going to remove a bit of it. So you can really see what is happening. So if we come over here and, oh, we have to go into the structure itself. So we're going to go to layout. So align item center. You can see right now it's centered. So you can align to the top, bottom, or you can stretch it. Okay, so that's handy. Okay, I like that. But you know why my, my brain is sort of like stuck? It's because we've lost one setting here. And to be fair, that setting used to annoy me a lot because chances are there were there was very few cases where I needed a gutter width anyways. But now that it's gone, it's good. Okay, justify center. Okay. 
Okay, so, so far it's working. I can see here that it has worked. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to add a bit of styling to this so I can see the design itself. So let's go PAD large and then I'm going to say BG uh, primary. Let me just add a bit of color to this. Okay, so that's my primary color there. So the items that we're looking at are the, these columns right here. So I'm going to go BG. Did we say primary before? I think so. Okay, so that's the column. Okay. Okay, let's add a bit of padding. Okay, so that's our column. So our column has this layout design right here. So the question now is over here on the right. Okay, let's add, oops. Let's go back over here into our second column. And for our second column here, we're also going to add a background color, by the way. So we're going to go BG and let's go gray. In fact, why don't you go accent? Now I'm just adding random colors here so we can at least see what is happening. So let's go accent uh, 400. Okay, so now that we have these two rows, okay, so these are two, two columns, what am I saying? These two columns right here. So that's this one and the bottom one is this one right here. So what I wanna do now is I wanna make sure that in this layout, Right, I want this one here to be on the top. Let's see what happens. Layout, and then I can do that. Now we have a gap here. How does that work? It's supposed to be this thing going across and this thing going across on the bottom. Anyway, maybe, huh, okay, this is columns. All right, I guess I need to play around with this a bit more. And also, I'm getting sleepy. It's now 17 past my bedtime. Anyway, it's a good start. I need to play around with this a bit more to really see exactly what is happening here anyway guys thank you very much for watching that was a quick look into the uh, div5 flexbox so there's a few things i need to do, um, learn and you know work out until i do a proper tutorial until next time thanks for watching and i'll see you again in the next one take care